Keep your eye on Calera, a man who's third in MLS Next Pro and Goals. If New York's going to win this game, they're going to have to score first and ratchet up the scoring against one of the best defenses the league has to offer. If this gets to be a battle between the 18s, I think it favors Tyrone Marshall's bunch. And on the subject of Tyrone Marshall's side, how about we take a look at the FC Cincinnati 2 lineup coming on your screen as we speak. For Cincinnati, this is a team that's made two changes from the 2-0 victory over Huntsville. Remember, oddly enough, Ben Stitz, their top scorer, not in the 11 tonight. He's on the bench. Stefan Chirilla anchoring the side up front. And then the duo in behind of Kenji and Bomadem and Peter Mangioni. Those two very dangerous. It's a side with veteran leadership. And Nico Ben Alcazar is someone with experience in New York's academy. Our official tonight, Benjamin Meyer, the lead official, gets us underway. His assistants, Marcus Moss and Fritz Barbarus. Kenneth Rojas, the fourth official this evening. We are underway. It feels like a must-win scenario for New York. Hooked forward towards Jimenez. The top attacking threats on this New York side. Fiera, a young homegrown at 17 years of age. Snatched back confidently by Yair Ramos. And there's the first touch by Chirilla. And bashed ahead. And Boma Dem back on the pitch. Numbers for Cincinnati. And Boma Dem, a low driver into the gloves of Alex Rando for a routine stop. Is right towards Ben Alcazar. And over to Amir Daly. Kat Walters' pedigree, just 20 years of age, spent one year at Northwestern before returning last season. Didn't get a lot of playing time in the Big Ten. Has gotten plenty of it in MLS Next Pro, and there's been optimism surrounding his development. Himself and Hunter Morse have been the two go-to options between the sticks this year. But with Walters being under contract with the first team, he's gotten the nod when the two are both on the team sheet. It's a long ball forward towards Tablante. Who does win the foot race with Bayera. It is Moises Tablante. It's still loose and finally pounced on by Randell. May have seen it a bit impaired, but he does enough to get a pair of palms to it. At the end of the day, it's a loose clearance from Bayera. And then he just gets out wrestled to this. Tablante bashes it low, and Rando can only just stick his leg out from there, just able to pounce on it before any further trouble ensues. But warning signs early on on the break for New York. Area of weakness of late. Shore picks this up. It is Johnny Shore. Quite keep it down. Daly. Ramos trying from afar. Rocketed it right at Randell. But by no means a shabby effort. It had venom to it. We can tell Ramos' confidence is sky high after scoring last week. Just puts his laces through this. New York fortunate that didn't knuckle or do anything funky. at least brief shots across the bow from Cincinnati, keeping the boys in blue honest. There's plenty of pressure the opposite direction, though, from New York. Sure, so dynamic on the wing. Chirilla. This comes free. Daly is streaking forward. Flag stays down. It's Kenji and Bomadem opens the scoring. And just like that, Cincinnati on the break. The flag has stayed down. Well, in a blink, Cincinnati in front. And this is when they're at their best, absorbing pressure. Kenji and Bomadem timing his run to perfection. And it's a routine one.
Cincinnati catching them on the counter once, making all the difference. And Gioni was the man who supplied that goal. And adjudicated to have won that tussle. The fourth official on the sideline has two minutes have been confirmed. Two minutes of additional time added to the first half. A clinical Cincinnati first half. Calera trying to delete defenders. There were far too many in the midst. Is there one final talking point to write home about in this first half? Flashing ball in, Ben Alcazar deals with it. Only unconvincingly, it's loose, and New York's equalized. On the stroke of halftime, Johnny Shore has pulled the boys in blue level. And it comes at a very opportune moment. You see him link so well with Calera. And before the goalkeeper, Walters can get... Saw him start out wide, tuck in centrally, and provide the equalizer right on the precipice of the break. Halftime has arrived. After New York added the, break, the plot to as necessary. They... Now Chirilla gets this underway. A lot hangs in the balance for both these teams' respective aspirations. Well, Madame will opt to just take it short. And Gioni floating it to the back stick. Trickery on the edge, it's flicked across. And it was a very eye-popping effort that just trickled wide of the near post. Real Monarchs hosting Timbers 2, a Timbers 2 team that needs a result to stay in postseason contention. And the whistle sounds against Cincinnati trying to play out from the back. And then Tacoma hosting Houston. A yellow card has been issued to Cincinnati's number 77. Exploded ahead, the flick on header, and it's in! New York back in front! And it appears Clevis Axare has made the difference. Well, it was a training ground routine, clearly intended for Calera at the back post. But Haxore dropping one of their first sets of points from winning positions all year. Outside, outside. Haxare is a native of New York City. Worked his way up from the academy ranks into the pro ranks two years ago, as we mentioned. Someone who is also of Albanian descent and represented Albania at the U19 level in the UEFA Championship qualifiers last September. Again, not known for his forays forward. In fact, rarely ventures ahead. On his first professional goal at a very timely spot for the boys in blue here tonight. May not have been aiming for the far corner, but they all count the same, and it will be a memorable one nonetheless. Sure. Playing this ahead. Elias in space. Piero Elias! New York rampant! Two in as many minutes! Well, the floodgates have opened. Carrizo picking out Elias. Tremendous technique. It is Carrizo vacating for Camila Zamruiz. Johnny Lopez also getting set to enter the fray for Johnny Shore. Carrizo supplying the most recent tally. Shore scoring the equalizer. We mentioned their longest winless spell of the season entering tonight. It was five matches. Since the calendar turned to September, they've struggled. As Santos's effort routinely in Arando's gloves. It appears increasingly likely that streak will come to a close tonight. Although there might be late drama, and Bulma Dem is through, chips the keeper, and just over the bar. A fortunate break for New York, who could have found itself with late drama to handle. And a man who's already scored once, Kenji and Bulma Dem creating it, just outwits Lopez, tries to go for the chip. 
just off the mark. A deep sigh of relief from Matt Pilkington's bench, which has seen the late match goal go against them so many times. Hassan Ruiz. Schaefer is dragged to the deck. And it appears Azam Ruiz may be booked for his antics after the fact. <coughs> Referee still trying to get things under control. It is Camille Azam Ruiz who enters the book. He's a simply unwarranted moment of rage. Guilherme Santos, the first man to get his marching orders. He substitute. We'll see if any further red cards ensue. It's still out. It's a question of who's receiving it. Elias fired back. You would think he would be someone tipped to be sent off in this scenario. Referees are still conversing. I think the safe conclusion here is you'll have at least six minutes of added time now. Red card was straight to Santos, mind you. He was already on a yellow before that. Now Elias, Elias is marching off the field. So the red card confirmed against Guilherme Santos, the substitute. He's been sent off for his reaction to Elias's challenge. But Piero Elias, as things stand, still walks the grounds of Belson Stadium unscathed. Now the referee may be heading his way. Our lead official tonight, Benjamin Meyer, does send off Piero Elias. And so there is a New York man given his marching orders. There may be more red cards to come though. And mind you, Elias has been a mainstay in midfield. He can't play next week in what could be a crucial fixture against Huntsville. So watch this space next week especially for one of the top ball winners in midfield for the boys in blue. There may be more to come. Those two were the instigators of the conflict. And then the followers on both sides emerged. So far, we are 10 on 10. We are well into the eight minutes adjudicated of added time, although it seems we'll go well beyond that now because the brawl commenced around five minutes ago. Another red card has been shown to Cincinnati. It will be without Guilherme Santos and Steven Jimenez. Well, there is the final whistle. We don't get to the 100 minute mark, but New York gets the three points it so desperately needs to climb back into the top eight.